Hi, you guys. Welcome back. So I know that the last couple episodes that I've been posting have been more lifestyle-y. It's been a hectic Christmas and New Year and Thanksgiving and all of that. So we're just getting back into the swing of things after the bit of traveling that we've been doing. And we're going back into the DIY and home improvement stuff. Now, I know that a lot of people probably think that home improvement and DIY only pertains to makeovers and construction, things like that. But part of home keeping and home making is also keeping your home nice and clean. And by clean, I mean cleaning things that you didn't think needed to be cleaned. So today I am encouraging you guys and showing you the correct way to clean your couches. Now we had a bunch of people over through the football season. My family came over from Australia and this couch has had a workout. So I'm going to give it a good thorough cleaning and I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do a good job of that. Alrighty, so let me introduce you to my couch and carpet cleaner. Um, I got this Hoover because it suited my lifestyle the best. We've got two small dogs, so it's pet friendly. And then I grabbed just a generic um, pet carpet and upholstery cleaner. I encourage you to follow the directions if you are intending on buying one of these, regardless of the size and what the function is, to follow the instructions when it comes to the amount of product that you are using. The measurements are like this much. If you're gonna put more than that in there, you're gonna leave stains on your couch and you're gonna have a really hard time vacuuming up the soapy and suddiness of what it will leave the residue on your couch. So I'm gonna be using the Hoover. The directions imply that I need to vacuum the area first with my regular vacuum. So I'll be doing that, getting in between all of the cracks and creases. Then we will go ahead and start to do the wet vacuum on the couch. Okay, I've already pre-filled my tank here. So using the recommended dosage of the solution and just plain tap water. Um, it's really easy to take on and off and it's really simple to use obviously. So once we hit the start button, it's gonna start going really loud. And then you're gonna see all of the dirt water getting sucked up into here. It's actually really gross. The first time I did this, I was quite surprised, but not like, totally shocked, so let's get going. I have finished this one little section. As you saw, disgusting dirt water. That's just one little strip of one little couch. <laughs> um, I was applying quite a bit of pressure to get right in and suck up all of that water and solution that was in there. And if I spy anything that is a bit dirty or extra dirty, I always go over it again or use the brush to give it an extra scrub. So I am going to finish this section and then show you guys the disgusting water that comes out of this couch. <laughs> Okay, I'm not proud of the state of this tank, but this is what came out of that one section. And I did a little bit of the other side because I could see a stain and I had to get it done. But look how disgusting that is. And I think, I think that I did this couch in November, like before Thanksgiving, um, the whole thing. So yeah, that's, that's the dirt and crap that's on there since the beginning of November. 
So again, you guys, like I said, DIY and home improvement is not just construction and makeovers. It's also homekeeping and improving your quality of life within your home. And that includes keeping the place that you put your face in the evening clean. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching you guys. Go out and get yourselves one of these so that you can clean up your couch. I'll see you next week.